Reading Heart plus No CP plus No Brain Xuanwen plus Xuanxue plus Live Broadcast, He Xiwen accidentally discovered that there was a spirit inside his jade pendant, which was also a beautiful man. The whole family eavesdropped on her thoughts and changed their fate against the heavens. Dad, if your younger brother tries to manipulate behind his back and transfer your good fortune to him, you will be very miserable, rolling calf, this younger brother just needs to be cleaned up. Fourth brother, your music work was plagiarized by your dearest disciple. He even falsely accused you and was exposed by countless netizens. You couldn't bear it and died of depression. Good guy, it's hard to guard against thieves day and night mom, your frailty and illness are all caused by your dear sister. Originally, your frailty and illness were her fate, but you were changed to your own destiny by some witchcraft, heart cold, the true heart cold is not about making a big fuss, but picking up a knife and killing indiscriminately. He Shiwen solved some mystical issues for netizens through live streaming, and has gained some fame online. When people discover strange things around them that cannot be explained scientifically, they will come to her live streaming room to gossip. Chapter 1 Damn it, damn it! You are listening at NovelFull.audio Recently, archaeologists have excavated cultural relics from Country Z, which is one of the oldest civilizations and is famous for making jade artifacts. He Shiwen is like a fairy under the sun, with crystal clear skin and charming lips. Her eyebrows are as thin as willow leaves, arched diagonally, adding a touch of playfulness to her beauty. She had nothing to do and went to visit the museum on the weekend. In the glass cabinets of the museum, cultural relics stand quietly, as if telling the story of a thousand years of history. Whether it is exquisite porcelain, magnificent Buddha statues, or rusty bronze vessels, they silently showcase the wisdom and artistic charm of the ancients. Inside the museum, a jade pendant emits a faint green light, mysterious and legendary. At the same time, the jade pendant around Hishiwen's neck also flickered, with a light green fluorescence echoing the jade in the museum. She was attracted by an unknown force and gently rubbed her palm against the glass. A dazzling green light appeared. Hishiwen woke up from bed. What's wrong with the green light? I thought I had traveled, but fortunately it wasn't. She looked at her room and it remained the same as before, unchanged. Wake up in the morning, embrace the sun. She picked up her phone, full of. He Shiwen saw that the time displayed on his phone was 2080. Full of. Dramatic feeling. Isn't it? Don't mess with me. He Shiwen quickly went online, hoping it was just a display issue on his phone. But the result has not changed. No, I need to go out and verify. She was wearing slippers and went out. I happened to meet an older sister walking out of the next room when I went out. He Shiwen was dumbfounded. Isn't her crush living next door? How did you change people? Or is this big sister crush's mother? Hello, big sister. Do you know Lu Boyu? No, Xiao Wen, what's wrong with you? Don't you know me anymore? You come to my store to work every day. What other deer or fish are there? I don't know what you're talking about. The older sister was very enthusiastic when she saw her, with a smile on her face all the time, but her ears were not very good and she spoke with a slight accent. He Shiwen's hand holding the phone drooped weakly. According to the information learned, it is now 2080 and she is an employee under the elder sister's command. Her name is the same as hers, also known as He Shiwen. Xiaowen, work hard. I'll send you a boyfriend at the end of the year. He he. The older sister locked the door, gave her some encouragement, and hurriedly went to work. I thank you, she casually perfunctorily. He Shiwen is wearing slippers, big shorts, and her hair is like a chicken coop, but fortunately her foundation is very good, and even so, it can be seen that she is a beautiful embryo. Her skin is like summer sunshine, rosy and radiant, emitting a healthy and confident aura. What's the situation? Have you really traveled? What is my script? According to what was portrayed on TV, there should be a script for her, 
such as a scumbag, a malicious supporting actress, or a leading actress. She turned around in despair, feeling lost and unsure of what she was going to do next. What are you squatting here at the door, you little devil? She turned around and saw a child squatting at the door playing with ants, almost stepping on her size 40 slippers. Fortunately, he Shiwen adjusted his pace in time to avoid stepping on her. The child is about four years old, with a pure expression in their eyes that only children have. When they smile, their eyes bend like crescent moon, revealing pure white teeth that are lovable. There is still baby fat on his face, and when he is unhappy, he pouts out his pink little mouth with a hint of unwashed saliva, which is truly adorable. He Shiwen crouched down and rubbed a few times on the child's chubby face, feeling very soft. The child smiled with bright eyes and said, Sister, I'm watching ants fight. Let's play together. They don't even play with me. The child is wronged. What's good about ants fighting? He Shiwen crouched on the ground board, pulling at the ants. The child looked up and said, What do you think is fun? He Shiwen thought for a moment and said, Watching earthworms tie knots is fun. The child's expression froze and he said, I thought you had something fun with that. That's it. That's it. He Shiwen was mocked and said, Hey, it's really fun to tie knots with earthworms. Ant fights are fun. Earthworms. Ants. Earthworms. Ants. The two people argued endlessly. Big sister has returned. He Shiwen quickly pulled the elder sister over and said, Elder sister, do you evaluate and judge? Is it fun to fight with ants or to tie knots with earthworms? The child looked at the elder sister expectantly. The older sister was puzzled and said, Xiaowen, what are you doing? The gods were chattering away early in the morning, talking about ants and earthworms. I saw you talking alone here from a long distance. Aren't you a brain drain? The older sister looked at her with a hint of color in her eyes. He Shiwen pointed at the little fart child and said, Big sister, there's a little fart child over there. She wants to argue with me whether ants fight or earthworms tie knots. The child placed their hands on their hips and pouted. The elder sister panicked and said, What little brat? What are you talking about? Are you crazy? Now it's he Shiwen's turn to suspect that the older sister is crazy. Is there such a bad look in her eyes for such a big child? Can't you even see it like this? Big sister, she's a child about four years old. She squatted here early in the morning playing with ants, and my size 40 slippers almost stepped on her delicate body. To prove the presence of a child here, he Shiwen reached out and lifted the child away. The child's hands and feet were haphazardly swaying, like a turtle swimming, which was very comical and funny. The elder sister's eyes changed, and as she watched her inexplicable movements, her whole body felt goosebumps. Xiaowen, in broad daylight, don't engage in feudal superstition. In this way, I'll give you a day off today and rest well. You must be too tired and have hallucinations. Big sister didn't see anything, she picked up something and hurriedly left. He Shiwen scratched his head and looked at this little brat. There are already children here. Slightly, slightly, slightly. The child made a grimace. He Shiwen didn't believe in evil and pulled the old man who was practicing in the morning over. Grandpa, what's here? There's a house here. He Shiwen continued to guide, perhaps the old man ignored her meaning, hmm did you see a child? Grandpa suddenly realized that He Shiwen felt there was hope. Yeah. Aren't you just a child? He Shiwen suddenly wilted and said, no, sir. I'm talking about a little kid about four years old. The old man shook his hand and said, I know, there's a mental illness here. He Shiwen was struck by a thunderbolt which left her charred outside and tender inside. It's okay, Grandpa, you go play. Grandpa happily went to morning exercise, and he Shiwen was messy in the wind. Damn it, damn it. Chapter 2 I am your master. 
You are listening at NovelFull.audio. He Shiwen's gaze at the child changed, with a hint of curiosity and fear. Curiosity kills cats. He Shiwen decided to leave with 30.6 strategies as the top strategy. Sister, aren't you playing with me anymore? I thought you were different from others, and other children didn't want to play with me. I thought you were willing to play with me. The child squatted silently in the corner, with tears on his face and a pitiful look in his eyes. She tried to suppress her suppressed emotions, but her trembling shoulders still revealed her inner feelings. She withdrew her feet as she was about to escape, and crouched down to touch the child's head. Oh, I can actually touch it. He Shiwen was surprised. She thought they were some visible but intangible substance. Don't cry, do you know why other children don't play with you? He Shiwen asked. The child looked up with tears on his face. He sniffed and said in a milky voice, Why? Because you are very special, when someone is very special, then that person just needs to stay special. The child's eyes were clear and confused, and after listening to her words, they seemed to understand. Hello, have fun. I'll go into the house first. I have something to do. What happened today is a bit beyond her imagination, she needs to adjust. Coincidentally, my older sister gave her a day off today, so she needs to tidy up well. Sister, will you still play with me next time? The child's hopeful gaze fell on her, making it difficult to refuse. He Shiwen couldn't bear it in her heart, so she agreed. Although she was a bit scared, the child was also pitiful. No one else can see this child, only He Shiwen can see it. For the child, she is the only person who can play with her. He Shiwen couldn't bear to refuse such a pitiful child. Of course, we haven't debated whether ants fighting is fun or earthworms nodding is fun. Next time, I'll show you how much fun earthworms nodding is. He Shiwen entered the room. What's going on? What's going on every day? She rolled on the bed, angrily pounding it. Anyway, let's have some delicious food first and have a full stomach first. He Shiwen stood up straight from the bed, throwing away her previous troubles. Now she only has one idea, which is to make something delicious. La 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 la, she was busy singing in the kitchen. Today she is going to make hot pot to eat. Although there is only one person, the quality of life needs to be guaranteed. She found a lot of fresh ingredients in the refrigerator, which happened to be enough to eat whole hot pot. There are lettuce, oil seeds, chives, watercress, cabbage, fatty beef, beef, chicken, meatballs. Everything is really there. She washed the vegetables, thawed the meat, and then started boiling the bottom of the pot. After the bottom of the pot boiled, the ingredients could be added, and then she could enjoy the hot pot beautifully. A capable person like me is unparalleled in this world. I can handle both the living room and the kitchen. I am truly amazing. He Shiwen looked at the cleaned ingredients and nodded in satisfaction. Soon the bottom of the pot was boiling, and she started eating hot pot. Fresh ingredients paired with her unique dipping sauce make the taste of the ingredients richer and sweeter. While eating hot pot, she took off her jade pendant and placed it on the nearby table. After finishing hot pot, she touched her round belly and lay on the sofa, taking a comfortable long breath. Comfortable. Suddenly, a black cat jumped in from the window, meowing and attacking her remaining hot pot ingredients with clear targets. Hey, you pussy. He Shiwen was trying to stop him. Meow 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 meow. The kitten was probably starving enough and kept meowing non-stop. The little cat quickly crawled in through the window, and now it is eating the remaining meat under the table, wolfing it down. Isn't it impossible for cats to eat seasoning? Why are you such a greedy cat? He Shiwen asked, based on her understanding of cats, cats should not eat seasoning as it is not good for their health. Pang. Something fell to the ground and made a crisp sound of breaking. Oh my, you pussy, you've broken my bowl, you've broken all my food, you little one. 
Although Hishiwan condemned the kitten for breaking her bowl, he didn't attack the kitten. Meow. Meow. Hishiwan crouched down and slowly approached the little cat. At the beginning, the kitten dodged as soon as she approached, very vigilant. Gradually, the kitten became accustomed to the smell on Hishiwan's body. So when she approached the kitten, it stopped hiding and quietly ate the meat. Hishiwan quietly placed his hand on the kitten's head. After realizing that the kitten did not yawn at him, he carefully placed his hand on the kitten's head and slowly stroked it. Oh, this little cat is so good. Hishiwan reached out and picked up the broken bowl on the ground, but the sharp fragments cut her hand. Hiss. Hishiwan reflexively withdrew his hand. Good luck. Hishiwan always says good luck every time there is an accident, as a good omen. The little cat seemed to know she was injured, stopped eating meat, and arched her feet with its head. Meow meow, the little cat cried out in pain. Hishiwan comforted the kitten with his other unharmed hand, then stood up and went to the table to get a tissue. The jade pendant she took off before eating hot pot happened to be placed next to the tissue. When Hishiwan was holding the tissue, blood from the wound on his hand accidentally dripped onto the jade pendant. The jade pendant emitted a faint green light on the table, but Hishiwan did not notice this phenomenon. She was now determined to treat her wound first. She drew a few tissues, wiped the blood clean first, then wrapped the wound and pressed it hard. Pressing on a wound is an effective way to stop bleeding and is also a relatively simple method. After finishing these things, she went to the corner of the door to pick up a broom, swept up the fragments on the ground, and then found a piece of unused cloth to wrap them up before throwing them into the trash can. After the kitten had eaten its fill, it rubbed against her feet, meowed a few times to express gratitude, and then walked out the window. I don't have anyone else's luck, I got off to a good start. He Shiwen joked, with a positive mindset. Where is this? How could I be here? A deep boy's voice echoed from behind Hishiwan. Hishiwan's back cooled down and goosebumps all over her body. She lives alone in this house, how could she hear any other sound? Hishiwan boldly turned around. She saw a man dressed in ancient attire, with long black hair that was as soft and smooth as silk, tied into a high ponytail, revealing his clean and handsome face. His eyebrows are like swords, straight and powerful, adding a touch of perseverance and courage to him. Will it go to hell again? Why is he still a ghost with a long history? I didn't see anything, oh, why can't I see anything with my eyes? He Shiwen began to pretend to be crazy. I know you can see, because. I am your. Master. Chapter 3 How Will We Meet Again Next Time? You are listening at NovelFull.audio. He Shiwen. What nonsense are you talking about? He Shiwen stared at him. He chuckled low, his laughter like wine, mellow and charming, making people intoxicated and unable to extricate themselves. Didn't you say you can't see it? Now you can see it, he asked in a leisurely manner. I. He Shiwen stuttered, because I was talking nonsense. After she finished speaking, she remembered that when she saw him just now, he said he was her master, so she asked, why do you say you are my master? Because I'm also talking nonsense. He smiled elegantly. He Shiwen rolled his eyes, he dares to play with me. If you provoke me, I will let you know. What do you know? I'll let you know. You didn't mess with anything, congratulations on kicking cotton. He Shiwen's eyes flickered with cunning and his tone was witty and humorous. He burst out laughing, his laughter like the wind chimes in spring, light and crisp, as if even the surrounding air was filled with joy. Who are you? How did you appear here? He Shiwen looked into his eyes and said. He cleared his throat and suppressed his smile, my name is Tang Tao, and the question you asked seems to be for me just now. He Shiwen's smile stiffened as she clasped her hands in front of her, and the rubbing of her hands revealed an indescribable awkwardness. Ha ha ha, big matters are not limited to small details, it's not important. 
He Shiwen waved his hand. Tang Tao paced back and forth in the room, his scrutinizing gaze scrutinizing the room. His clothes flipped over, and the swaying hem of his clothes resembled a fairy with a fairy-like aura. How could you have such a good jade so poor? Tang Tao looked at her with a curious gaze. He Shiwen looked at his piece of jade. The texture of jade is delicate and beautiful, like a landscape painting in nature. Its color and texture give people a sense of elegance and nobility. The jade is crystal clear with green light. The color of jade is rich and soft, like the essence of the earth, and contains endless energy and wisdom. My mom said I had it when I was born, but I'm not sure how it came about. He Shiwen has been wearing this jade pendant since childhood and has never taken it off. The red string has already turned white, stained with the traces of time. I see. Tang Tao said, then you definitely don't know what's inside the jade. His word successfully caught the attention of He Shiwen, who tugged at his sleeve and said, what's inside? Tang Tao glanced at the sleeve she was pulling at. Although he didn't like it, he didn't say anything. He just furrowed his brow lightly and said, jade can nourish people, you know. He Shiwen has been told since he was young that jade can nourish people, and some beautiful jade can also help his master prevent disasters, bless his master with smooth sailing and peace. I know, she said. Tang Tao put his hands behind his back and slowly said, not only does it mean that the owner of the jade can be safe and smooth, but in fact, the jade itself is also a container for containing essence and soul. Tang Tao's speech is gentle and elegant, full of wisdom, making people feel his erudition and cultivation. ABA ABA, what does it mean? He Shiwen was stunned and heard this statement for the first time. Oh. Are you? The soul inside this jade. He Shiwen exclaimed in surprise. A child can be taught. Tang Tao nodded confidently. He came to the edge of the sofa, looked around, and sat down with a probe. The sofa instantly sank, and his expression lit up. It's really amazing. Tang Tao's eyes sparkled with joy, his mouth slightly opened, and he sighed to himself. He Shiwen sat down on the other side of the sofa and said, Why don't you speak fluently? Tang Tao. I have been deeply influenced by it, and the language system has not stayed in the past. He Shiwen asked curiously, How on earth did you hide inside this jade? Tang Tao's eyes revealed a hint of helpless melancholy, as if all his worries were hidden in his heart, yet he could not speak. I died young, and a ray of soul was blocked here, nourished by the essence of heaven, earth, sun and moon, and now I can show my humanity, Tang Tao said. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. He Shiwen used to be a materialist, but now she is no longer. Strange things have overturned her cognition one after another. Are you so poor that you can afford to worship me? I need incense to worship, otherwise it will gradually fade away. Tang Tao looked at the simple living environment here and was very worried. Although he didn't need to occupy space, he could rest in the jade, but the worship of incense and fire is particularly important. His condition will be better with rare treasures. He Shiwen pursed his lips and said, You can leave and find a wealthy person to worship you. Tang Tao was depressed. If it weren't for his inability to stay too far from you, and the Yu he was staying with had already been stained with He Shiwen's blood, it would be equivalent to the two of them having formed a contract, and now it's not something he can leave just because he wants to. Don't you look at what you've done. Tang Tao was angry and waved his sleeve vigorously. What did I do? Your blood and jade have merged into one, and I, as the soul inside, have now formed a contract with you. The two of us are now grasshoppers on the same rope. Tang Tao unfolded the matter and explained it. He Shiwen's eyes narrowed with a smile, and his expression was filled with joy. So, I'm your master. She laughed and clapped her hands and stomped her feet. Tang Tao has a black face, why did he end up with such a master himself? She is neither a powerful general nor a resourceful strategist, but rather a small character holding a script for the beginning of hell. 
He really doesn't want to recognize this master, is there any benefit in being your master? He Shiwen stared at him with a silly smile. Tang Tao remained silent. I don't want to say anything about this. Stingy guy, drink cold water, drink cold water and become a devil. He Shiwen leaned weakly on the table, turned on the TV, and began watching it. Do you say others can see you? Or can only I see you? Tang Taoli naturally said, of course only you can see. Both parties to the contract can see each other. Only He Shiwen can see Tang Tao, which gives He Shiwen a strange feeling in his heart, as if he has been filled with honey, sweet and contented. You'd better think about how to put me with rare treasures so that I can absorb the essence of the sun and the moon. Tang Tao is still most concerned about this. Without nourishment, he would find it difficult to maintain his human form. When Tang Tao said these words, his body had already begun to become semi-transparent. He Shiwen exclaimed, What's wrong with you? Tang Tao said, I'm going back to the jade. He Shiwen became anxious and said, How will we meet again next time? Tang Tao's body was completely transparent, with a strand of green silk penetrating into the jade. Chapter 4 to change one's destiny, one must. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. He Shiwen was stunned, like a stone sculpture, with tense facial muscles and a hint of surprise and confusion in her eyes. Her hands suddenly stopped in mid-air. She shouted at Yui Tong, but in response, there was only an empty echo in the room. Every day. She picked up the jade and casually placed it on the table where the Buddha statue was enshrined. The next day. The big sister knocked on the door, and the four-year-old girl was still watching ants fighting at the door, but the big sister couldn't see her. Xiao Wen, get up and go to the store to work. Happiness comes from hard work. The elder sister's shout was as loud as thunder, shaking the chickens outside the door. The child was also startled, and then she continued to watch the ants fight. Nothing is more attractive than ants fighting. He Shiwen said, I am very happy to stay in bed now, I don't need to struggle. Xiao Wen, Xiao Wen, it's time to go to work. The older sister shouted persistently. He Shiwen couldn't ignore it at all. He woke up obediently and opened the door against the head of the chicken coop. Sister, why don't I resign? The elder sister quickly covered her mouth and said, How could you say such things? Silly child, you must not have woken up. Then I'll wake up and go to work. Xiao Wen, if you wake up and go again, you'll be late. If you don't go to work, who will fight for my BMW? At this moment, Yi Shiwen's mood is like the tranquility before the storm, filled with endless silence and silence. A worker, without saying a word of hardship, tears are swallowed in his stomach. She finally went to work. The elder sister runs a restaurant, and the dishes she cooks are very delicious. Workers from several miles around like to come here to eat. The business in the restaurant is very good, with people coming and going, and customers coming and going. Many people have fallen deeply in love with this place after eating the dishes cooked by the elder sister, and come here to eat whenever they have free time, so the store has accumulated many old customers. He Shiwen ran around and served dishes to everyone. Who is He Shiwen? He Shiwen is most afraid of others calling her full name, which makes her panic. When she was a child, she would be called her full name if she made a mistake. Now she has formed a conditioned reflex, and hearing her full name makes her panic. Who is here to cause trouble He Yang? He Shiwen saw a boy with a burly body with sharp edges and smooth lines, displaying a distinct sense of power. He has a tall and imposing figure, with five big and three thick, which is intimidating and gives people a strong sense of oppression. Good muscle training He Yang heard an inexplicable voice and looked down at his muscles. Although he's very handsome, I'm afraid. He can punch me to the Pacific. Is he going to cause trouble I'll figure out how to escape later but I can't beat it He Yangyuan kept hearing some strange and strange sounds. He looked around, looking for the source of the sound, but couldn't find it. The sound was clearly nearby. 
He Shiwen pretended to be calm and said, Hello, what's up? As soon as He Shiwen spoke, He Yang understood. Isn't that the sound she just made? But she didn't open her mouth. What's going on? Can he hear her voice? I'm a big bean, why didn't I speak? It's weird and creepy. You wouldn't want to hit me, would you? What is he looking at me for why roll up your sleeves He Yang? Do I look very fierce? He Yang has confirmed that he can hear the woman's voice. He Shiwen saw something was wrong and prepared to leave. Nothing was as important as his life. He Yang rolled up his sleeves and wrote a phone number on his arm. He took out his phone and made a call. He Shiwen's phone rang. Are you He Shiwen? He Yang's eyes sparkled with excitement and energy. What? When did I become famous? However, this person is so miserable, he was framed so badly that in the end, his bones were all gone. I estimate there will only be a few good days left the picture is so terrifying that I can't bear to look straight at it He Shiwen has a superpower of foreseeing the fate of others, and now what she sees is the future fate of He Yang. He Yang widened his eyes, unable to believe what he had heard. Will he die tragically? And you're still going to die soon. Do you know me? He Yang asked. He wants to figure out if what he heard is true. I know, isn't He Yang? You're right, I won't make a mistake. He Yang. She knows me. According to this reasoning, what she said is true. However, speaking of which, it seems that he shares the same surname as me, and it's really fate. His fate cannot be changed, it's just that we met by chance, and I won't meddle in anything unfortunately, he looks so handsome is this just a premature death he young. Why did we meet by chance? Xiao Wen, there's a customer here who wants to order, please take care of them. There were too many customers, and the older sister was too busy to take care of them, so she instructed Xiao Wen. Okay, sister, come right away. He Shiwen doesn't care about this strange person anymore. First, greet the customers and don't lose her job. Although she doesn't want to work, she will starve if she doesn't have a job. Between going to work and starving to death, she still chose to go to work and wait for death. Hey, don't leave. He Yang was anxious. He had just heard something crucial, and now the person involved has left. He is anxious, and how his little life can change still depends on her. How exactly can it change? You're telling me. He Yang stomped his foot anxiously. He Shiwen greeted the guests. He Yang didn't want to just let it go, so he followed He Shiwen and prepared to talk to her, to see how to change his own destiny. What is this guy following me for He Yang? You are my life. Saving benefactor. If I don't follow you, who will I follow? I know I'm beautiful, but don't plan against me He Yang. This girl is really narcissistic. Although you are also very handsome, beautiful things always have thorns, so we need to maintain an appropriate distance He Yang. That's pretty good, but I still need to stick it. How could he be like a fly seeing feces He Yang? Are you shit? It doesn't matter if I'm a fly. He Shiwen thought for a moment and said, I'm wrong, how could I be shit? I'm a prickly rose. He Yang smiled, hearing He Shiwen's voice made him find it very interesting. What are you laughing at it's inexplicable you won't fall in love with me at first sight, well you don't love me, there's no result He Yang. Why is it so cute? He Yang. It's so cute, I really want to sit down and die. So annoying. For the sake of your tragic death, I won't argue with you anymore He Yang's big teeth were instantly retracted, and the thought of his bitter gourd fate made him unhappy. Heung. Good sister, you need to save me. I am your dearest brother. Sai, Young. But if you want to change your destiny, unless seeing hope, He Yang immediately took the conversation and said, unless for what? He Shiwen felt inexplicable and said, it's nothing, I said stray cats need to get rid of heat rash. He Yang. You said it, speaking halfway, I feel very painful. Chapter 5 
you better hurry up and leave. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Heyang, why bother you with something? It's been so long and you haven't finished it yet. This noble woman has an elegant temperament, with a gentle smile on her face and a graceful and luxurious aura emanating from her whole body. So beautiful, I love beautiful women, beautiful woman stickers. Handsome guys and beautiful women are all available, this is what I want to be, so beautiful, pretty sister stickers, Tian Ruina was surprised that she could hear He Shiwen's voice. Although her inner turmoil was turbulent, her face still maintained elegance. What an elegant sister Tian Ruina blushed as she saw someone praising her so straightforwardly for the first time. Mom, why did you come? He Yang said. Mom. He actually calls her mom, this figure and face are also well maintained, I can't tell at all that it's the mother of a young man in his twenties, just like a twenty-dot-year-dot-old female college student. Tian Ruina felt very happy in her heart. She turned her head to look at He Yang, who looked calm and didn't seem to hear any strange sounds at all. Tian Ruina. Can only I hear the voice of my precious daughter. That's great too. When Tian Ruina thought that only she herself could hear Tian Ruina's voice in the world, the corners of her mouth couldn't help but soar wildly. This unique honor instantly made her waist stand straight. Why is the beautiful sister so elegant it's so great to be his son He Shiwen's envious gaze flowed between the two of them. Tian Ruina. Do you want to be my daughter? He Shiwen was thinking in his heart. It would be great if he could become her daughter. The next second he heard her say this, He Shiwen couldn't believe what he had heard. She won't hear my heart, will she, impossible. There won't be such a thing as mind reading in this world. It may just be a coincidence, yes, it must be like this. I'm really too smart, my brain seed is really amazing. Mom, don't play tricks and quickly reveal the truth. He Yang couldn't wait. His little life still needs to be saved by his beloved sister. Hurry up and let his beloved sister recognize her ancestors. He Shiwen asked in confusion, what are you talking about? Are you acting in a TV drama? Tian Ruina took He Shiwen's hand and her eyes were filled with love. She stared at He Shiwen intently and said, daughter. I finally found you. What is the situation is this a new scam but the beautiful sister's hands are so warm, her eyes look good Tian Ruina chuckled, but still had to stabilize the scene. Let me tell you the truth about the matter. He Yang couldn't wait and wanted to reveal the truth himself. The thing is, when He Shiwen was born, she was the beloved little princess of the whole family. One day, when they went shopping, he Shiwen was kidnapped by human traffickers, and the whole family was heartbroken. Over the years, they have never given up searching for He Shiwen. Finally, through unremitting efforts, the public security organs have recently received good news. He Shiwen is their daughter who has been separated for many years. When they heard this news, the whole family was very excited. They drove non stop to this place, wanting to recognize He Shiwen. Sister, I am your dear brother, He Yang said excitedly with a runny nose and tears. Tian Ruina. My dear daughter, you have suffered. After searching for you for so many years, I finally found you, my daughter. Observing their clothing and appearance, as well as the watch they were wearing and the car key they were holding, He Shiwen saw that the price was not cheap and it was definitely not something that poor families could have. Isn't it true that my pheasant has turned into a phoenix did I achieve financial freedom overnight, wait a moment. Happiness came too suddenly, I can't believe it. Tian Ruina. My silly daughter, these are things you should enjoy. He Yang. My younger sister has been going through really tough years, but I will take good care of her from now on, provided that she helps me save my life first. He Shiwen had never experienced such a scene before. She didn't know how to make a suitable expression, nor did she know how to respond to them. She just stood there dumbfounded. What's going on? Daughter, don't you want to come back with us? Tian Ruina didn't have any special reaction when she saw He Shiwen, 
thinking that she might not want to recognize him, so she felt bitter in her heart. Sister, my mother has been looking for you so thinly in recent years. She looks at your photos all day, hoping that one day you can come back, He Yang said. He Xiuan's heart was moved, his eyes were hot, and he felt very happy when he was cherished by others. Mom. Mom, I don't want to know you guys. I really hope to know you guys. He Shiwen was quite unfamiliar with the word mom, so she called it stutteringly. He Shiwen has never been valued in her original home. From a young age, she gave the delicious, delicious, and fun things to her younger sister and brother first. She never understood why her mother treated her so differently. Her mother has been very strict with her since she was young. She not only helps with household chores, but also tutors her younger siblings with homework. Moreover, she has to earn her own living expenses. She has been living very hard these years, often working a few jobs to barely make ends meet. After graduating from college, finding a job has become relatively easier. It turned out that her mother had been treating her differently over the years, but now she has finally found the reason. It turns out she is not her mother. Mom, brother, I am really lucky that you can find me. He Shiwen was moved to tears. Let's go home. Tian Ruina picked up He Shiwen's hand. Mmm hmm. She nodded. As they were walking outside, the older sister caught up and said, Xiaowen, what's going on? Who are they? Don't walk with strangers casually. Big sister saw Xiaowen walking with a group of strangers, and she was very worried. Although Xiaowen was an employee of her, she treated him like her own child. Sister, I really quit this time. In the past, she used to speak with a broken face, but today when she says this, her face is filled with a happy smile. What's going on? Tell the big sister about it, the big sister asked with concern. He Shiwen looked at the elder sister and suddenly hugged her forward. When He Shiwen first came out to work, she encountered various obstacles when looking for a job, but fortunately, her older sister took her in. Over the years, the older sister has always been very kind to her, although sometimes she may say a few difficult things. Xiao Wen is my daughter, and I'm here to pick her up and take her home. Thank you for taking care of her over the years. Give me your card number, and I'll give you a little token of appreciation. Tian Ruina was dressed in luxurious clothes and had a delicate makeup on her face. Although her whole body was very luxurious, her tone of voice was very friendly, without any aggressive look. XXXX Although the elder sister still had some confusion about the situation, she smoothly reported her bank card number. Actually, it's not necessary. Xiao Wen is also a pitiful child. It's just a matter of my hands to help her. I didn't do anything at all. This child is also quite promising and has helped me a lot, the elder sister said with a smile. Bank card received 1 million yuan. Sister. Is this the world of the wealthy? I'll go. Pretty mom is too generous, isn't she? She's too generous. Beautiful mother, I love you so much Tian Ruina gave He Shiwen a proud look. The elder sister wiped her hands with her bib and said, Xiao Wen, I can tell they really want to recognize you. I believe you can live better with them. As for the elder sister, I wish you better and better in the future, and I also hope you come back frequently to see them. The elder sister looked at her with tears in her eyes, very reluctant. Big sister and He Shiwen have gone through many ups and downs together over the years. They have overcome many difficulties and experienced many happy times together. Suddenly, they have to part ways and are still very reluctant. Don't worry, big sister. Although I have become wealthy, I will not forget you. You helped me when I was in the most difficult situation, and I will always remember your kindness. You will always be my big sister. He Shiwen is a child who knows how to show gratitude and repay kindness. She will always remember the little kindness others have given her. I still can't bear to part with my older sister. Although she has a bad temper, looks ugly, 
has a bad mouth, hurts from hitting others, and usually combs a little. Sister. You better hurry up and leave. Chapter 6. Teach the sister with snake and scorpion hearts a hard lesson. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. He family. This luxurious mansion has a towering roof, a spacious courtyard, and gorgeous decorations. Every detail highlights the owner's luxurious life, and the sparkling pendants set off the entire space in a very dreamy way. In the living room of a mansion, the magnificent furniture and furnishings are breathtaking. Cough cough. Tian Ruina's face was pale, revealing a hint of illness. Tian Ruina has been sick all year round and her body has always been very weak. My mother is beautiful as long as she is beautiful, but her fate is not good she was originally a strong and healthy person with no health problems her younger sister played tricks and swapped her destiny. Originally, her younger sister should have been weak and sickly my mother is also too pitiful, the beautiful mother I just recognized, sigh. Tian Ruina clenched her fist, to her surprise, it was her sister who caused it. Heung, take care of your sister at home. I have something to do and I'll come home, said Tian Ruina. He young scratched his head, silly. Li Xiaofang, the mother of a beautiful mother, is not her biological mother either. Back then, Li Xiaofang couldn't conceive a child. The old man told her to adopt a child so that she could have her own child. As expected, Li Xiaofang had her own child behind her, which was very harsh to her beautiful mother, oh, there's one more important thing, the exchange of destiny between a beautiful mother and her sister is advocated by Li Xiaofang. Tian Ruina became even angrier upon hearing this, her chest heaving rapidly, panting heavily, her eyes filled with anger, gritting her teeth, and occasionally coughing. When she thought about her originally healthy and strong physique, but because her sister had used some means to make her so weak and sickly, she was furious. Tianjiao. Tian Yuhan, get out of here and see what you've done. Tian Yuhan stood at the door with a kitchen knife, exuding a strong demeanor. Tian Yuhan had a disdainful expression on her face. She smiled contemptuously and looked askance, oh, isn't that my frail and sickly sister? Tian Ruina grabbed her collar and said, you're such a dead woman, you're actually harming me, cough cough cough. Tian Yuhan disdainfully brushed away her hand and said, let me clean my mouth, give you some face, and even call you, sister. If I don't give you face, you're not a big deal. Tian Ruina was completely angered. She originally wanted to speak up, but now it's obvious that she can't. If you're not kind, don't blame me for being unjust. Tian Ruina grabbed the kitchen knife in her hand and rushed towards her, let's die together. Tian Yuhan retreated repeatedly, she didn't expect her to go crazy so terrifyingly. Mom, Mom, Tian Ruina is crazy and she's going to kill someone. Yeah, I'm just a lunatic. I'm not killing humans, I'm killing animals. Tian Yuhan runs ahead, while Tian Ruina chases behind. Mom, help me, help me. Tian Yuhan hid behind Li Xiaofang who had just returned, and Li Xiaofang protected her like a hen protecting a chick. Li Xiaofang's eyes widened angrily and she said, Tian Ruina, you're dying. How dare you treat your sister like this? Tian Ruina twitched her neck, turned a few times, her eyes fierce, and a sarcastic smile at the corner of her mouth. Her gaze towards the kitchen knife in her hand was almost insane. Like a mother, like a son. It's because of a mother like you that there are people like her who are insane. Tian Ruina harshly accused her mother of being very fond of her younger sister since childhood, which left her puzzled. You heartless thing. In the past, you ate, drank, and wore mine. Now that you have married a good husband, you turn around and blame me. What qualifications do you have to blame me? Li Xiaofang retorted, unwilling to be outdone. Tian Ruina looked at Li Xiaofang with disappointment in her eyes. She used to think she was just an incompetent mother, but she didn't expect her to be a bad woman with a scorpion heart. Are you okay to say that your heart is as hard as a stone, 
and I know all the things you did with Tian Yuhan. Tian Ruina clearly stated her position. Li Xiaofang also stopped pretending, with a fierce expression on her face. Get out of here, you naughty thing. If it weren't for me, you would have starved to death on the street long ago. Tian Yuhan timidly hid behind Li Xiaofang. Tian Ruina. I will fight with you his mother, and we will die together. If you don't want me to feel better, we will die together. Tian Ruina's eyes were bloodshot and she ran over with a kitchen knife. You crazy dog, Li Xiaofang pointed at her with trembling fingers as Tian Ruina approached, the two of them realized something was wrong and quickly ran away. Li Xiaofang ran while cursing loudly. Tian Ruina first caught up with Tian Yuhan, hit her on the ground and pulled her hair. You are such a bad thing. You have a bad idea. You have to do harm to others' health. I want to kill people for the sake of my mother. Tian Yuhan had no strength to fight back and was pinned to the ground by her. Li Xiaofang turned around and helped, Tian Ruina, you crazy person, let go of your sister quickly. Sister. She's not my sister at all. I don't have a sister like her with a snake and scorpion heart. Li Xiaofang. Do you already know? Tian Ruina. I know all the bad things you did, including me being adopted by you and the fact that you swapped my fate with Tian Yuhan and kept me sick. I also know. Li Xiaofang simply pushed Tian Ruina away in an image, get lost. You have done so many bad things to me, how could I easily get away? I want to retrieve what belongs to me. After Tian Ruina finished teaching Tian Yuhan a lesson, she rushed towards Li Xiaofang. Tian Yuhan lay on the ground, with high and swollen cheeks on both sides, messy hair, and some small wounds on his ears, making him feel embarrassed. Tian Ruina, you're really crazy. Li Xiaofang continued to curse loudly. Tian Ruina didn't talk to her so much this time, so don't waste so much saliva on things you can do. Tian Ruina went up and gave her a direct kick, kicking her to the ground, then went up and held her down, slapping her loudly with a few loud slaps. It's your mouth, something that harms people, Tian Ruina slapped her hard. Tian Ruina. What are you calling me for? Do you have the right to call me? Reading my name from your mouth makes me feel dirty. Li Xiaofang took the opportunity to snatch the kitchen knife from her hand and said, You're dead, you damn girl. Li Xiaofang chopped towards her, and Tian Ruina grabbed the kitchen knife with both hands and twisted it to the side. Li Xiaofang screamed in agony, and the knife fell directly to the ground. Your hand is cheap, it seems you need to chop it off. Tian Ruina picked up the kitchen knife on the ground and chopped it into her hand. Ah! The sound of killing pigs echoed through the sky. Chapter 7 Beautiful Mom Causes a Big Trouble in the Tian Family You are listening at Novel Full Audio. What's her name? Tian Ruina domineeringly teased her hair. Now her face was rosy and she didn't look sick at all. Ah ah ah. Li Xiaofang closed her eyes, afraid to look at her own hands. Tian Ruina grabbed her hand and said, Your pig's trotters are still there, stop barking. Li Xiaofang opened her eyes and saw that her hand was still intact. She breathed a sigh of relief. The way Tian Ruina started cutting her hand just now scared her silly. This time you're lucky, but next time you'll really come. Li Xiaofang was too excited and suddenly passed out. Tian Ruina got up and walked into the room. She arrived at her own room, which was completely unrecognizable as a room filled with miscellaneous items. Since Tian Ruina moved out, this place quickly became a miscellaneous room. It's really ridiculous, why was I so foolish before? Tian Ruina shook her head helplessly as she remembered all her previous behaviors. Such a person is not worthy of being a mother at all. Tian Ruina used to leave some gold and silver treasures here, and only she knew the location herself. Today, she will take them all away without leaving any trace of nostalgia. 
she packed her things and went downstairs. There is a place downstairs where Buddha statues are enshrined, and a box is placed on top. The shape of the box is really I. Catching, and Tian Ruina cannot ignore it. This is a pitch black box, with talismans pasted on it and something written in an unknown red liquid. The placement is also very strange, as if a strange ceremony is taking place. Tian Ruina approached and said, pretending to be mischievous, I want to see what it is. She opened the box and found a piece of paper inside. On the paper, it was clearly her birth time, and she suddenly felt a surge of anger and blood. It was these things that used to harm me, right? She tore the paper into thin pieces and set the box on fire. The harmful thing was to eliminate it completely. After finishing these things, she felt like her throat, which had always been choked by someone, suddenly became smooth, her mind became much clearer, and she no longer coughed. Her whole body was full of strength. Tian Ruina is still feeling uneasy, looking at this room is uncomfortable everywhere, especially with a mirror facing her previous room, which is a big taboo in feng shui. She was the first to smash the mirror, looking at the shattered pieces of it, and there was an unparalleled joy in her heart. The paper inside the box was torn off, and with the mirror shattered, the witchcraft inside had already been broken. Of course, the effect of life-changing characters no longer exists. Tian Ruina then carried out another crazy smash, smashing anything she didn't like. Finally, she was tired. That's it for today, I finally breathed a sigh. Tian Ruina flicked her hair and exhaled a breath of turbid air, with a thin layer of sweat on her forehead. I feel comfortable now. No one can provoke me, but I can't bear it anymore. I can't bear it anymore. Tian Ruina left gracefully. Li Xiaofang and Tian Yuhan came back and saw a mess inside the house. Li Xiaofang was so angry that she trembled. She stomped her feet and said, Heaven, Tian Ruina is crazy, she's not going to die. Tian Yuhan saw that the mirror was broken, so she immediately ran to look at the box. The contents inside the box had already been destroyed. Mom, she broke our game. Tian Yuhan was both anxious and angry. Dead girl, she will suffer from it in the future, hiss. Li Xiaofang's swollen cheeks hurt. Tian Ruina confidently returned to her home. He Shiwen greeted his mother at the door. Beautiful mom is back I don't know if she has broken those witchcraft Tian Ruina heard her daughter's voice and explained, Tian Yuhan, this dead girl, actually used my birth date and eight characters to make things strange, and even used a mirror to face my previous room. It was all her fault that caused me to suffer together before. He Shiwen said, great, mom won't have to get sick in the future. Good job, pretty mom the beautiful mother's destiny has been changed back, Huya, beautiful mom can accompany me for a long time again. The matter with the beautiful mother has been resolved but there is also that big brother who is a big injustice brother's fate is also not good as soon as he young heard he she when discussing himself in his heart, he immediately became energized. He pretended to have a friend and said, Dear sister, I have a friend. I have a friend, isn't this a classic opening line? Ha ha ha, is that your friend he young? This sister is so ghostly. I have a friend who goes fortune telling. A master said his life is not long. In this situation, is there any way to turn the tide? He Shiwen thought for a moment and said, Well, there are still some ways, but changing one's life against the odds is a very serious matter, and usually one wouldn't intervene. He Shiwen knows that each line has its own rules, and breaking the rules comes at a cost. Although she can see the future of others, she rarely intervenes. Cause and effect is a cycle that disrupts the fate of others and changes one's own destiny. He Shiwen was limp and frustrated like a deflated ball, full of words to say but unable to open his mouth. My big brother is also too pitiful, why don't I help him? He Yang's eyes were sparkling, and a flame named Hope was burning. But it comes at a cost, it's very complicated. He Yang was discouraged. But he is my brother, even though he has only known him for a day. 
As the saying goes, blood is thicker than water. Sister, blood is thicker than water, He Yang said He Shiwen was absent. Minded and didn't hear clearly. What? Helping or not helping? It's so annoying. If I had fried chicken with happy water and then added a meal of crayfish, I guess I could quickly decide whether to help or not. I really want to eat He Yang understood and took out his phone. Sister, I'll give you some takeout, fried chicken, happy water, and crayfish. Do you have anything else you want to eat? Under the temptation of delicious food, He Shiwen's eyes are as agile and dazzling as stars, which is a deep fascination and longing for delicious food. That radiance is pursuit, enjoyment, and her endless joy in the face of delicious food. She swallowed uncontrollably and said, Brother, how do you know I want to eat? It's even clearer than the roundworms in my stomach. My brother is so sensible, I definitely want to be more sensible too, I. I have decided that my brother's matter is my own, and I must help my big brother who is a big injustice. Heung. There's hope, my family. There's hope in saving my life. Why did my brother shed tears, anyway, he's just a crazy guy, just as inexplicable as in a restaurant. Crayfish, fried chicken, and happy water, I'm here. He young looked at his younger sister, her eyes incredibly clear and devoid of impurities, completely immersed in happiness. He secretly made up his mind. In the future, he must make his sister always happy, always happy, and be the happiest child in the world. Chapter 8 Apprenticeship and Art You are listening at NovelFull.audio he Shiwen returned to her room and eagerly took out her jade pendant from an antique box. This box is an old wooden box, with an antique surface and a blue light resembling ripples shining in the dark night. The box lock is engraved with strange patterns, and there is a concave convex surface on the side of the box, on which lifelike birds fly. This is the treasure she found in this house. Tang Tao previously said he wanted to stay with rare treasures, and He Shiwen estimated that this box would be helpful for his recovery. He Shiwen propped his chin and stared intently at the green jade inside the box. How long will it take to appear? I don't know if this box will work, He Shiwen muttered to himself. Come out, I'm so bored. Tang Tao, can you hear me? Just, squeak, when I hear you. The air is as silent as death. She waited and fell asleep. Something strange came from his shoulder, and He Shiwen opened his eyes and rubbed his sleepy eyes. Tang Tao. Tang Tao. Have you finally appeared? Her hands trembled, unable to suppress the excitement in her heart, as if she had been injected with infinite vitality. Tang Tao covered his ears and temporarily closed his eyes in disgust. It's so noisy. It's chattering like a bird. He Shiwen pouted with thick black hair and unique eyes that were deep and bright. Her long eyelashes flickered like a pair of small wings. You finally appeared, it seems that this box is still useful. He Shiwen admiringly looked at the precious box. Tang Tao's gaze skipped over the box, his eyes deep and flickering with an imperceptible emotion. Tang Tao, I have something I need to ask you. He Shiwen remembered seeing her brother's fate and wanting to try to change it, otherwise her brother would have confessed it here. Tang Tao sat down elegantly and said, I just said, calling me out in such a hurry is definitely not a good thing. A pleasing smile appeared on He Shiwen's face, and she pressed her dog's leg on his shoulder. Hey, don't say that. I called you out because I missed you. You're a ghost. After all these years of working as a spirit, there must be many interesting stories to tell, and the magic should be very profound. I know a lot of things, so I'm willing to play with you. Tang Tao listened to her words like a spring breeze, his eyes flickering with a proud light, the corners of his mouth raised, and a cheerful expression on his face. He Shiwen made him happy. He he, this guy is really easy to coax. I didn't even coax much and just coaxed it. It's truly me Tang Tao. What's the situation with your brother? Tang Tao inquired about the situation, 
Only by knowing the situation can he prescribe the right medicine to ensure that the disease is cured. He Shiwen said, the situation is like this. I see his future. He is a soldier, and one day he was betrayed by someone he trusted, leading to his death on the spot. It was very tragic. Tang Tao listened attentively, occasionally asking for details, and when he spoke of his agreement, he would also speak out in agreement. Your situation is quite difficult to handle. Tang Tao is in a difficult situation. This kind of fate-changing behavior will come at a cost. If you can do it, don't do it. If you do it, do something good to accumulate in virtue. He Shiwen sighed and said, don't you have any good ideas? Tang Tao remained silent. Hey, my poor brother, I'm also very poor. The brother I just recognized is about to disappear. He Shiwen lay listlessly on the table, fingers picking at the things on the table. Tang Tao couldn't bear to see her gloomy and unhappy expression, saying, it's not impossible. I can teach you, but there's one condition. He Shiwen. What conditions? Tang Tao said, you have to worship me as your teacher before I can teach you a unique secret recipe. He Shiwen's eyes lit up, even more dazzling than the lights in the room. Goodbye. Goodbye. I can't help but beg for it. With such a skilled master like you, I would wake up laughing from my dreams. He Shiwen is very willing to recognize him as a master, with a hundred willing. Following Tang Tao can not only hear many stories, but also learn some skills, beautiful, beautiful. Tang Tao was surprised and didn't expect her to agree so quickly. Master, please accept my disciple's bow. He Shiwen gave him enough courtesy according to his performance in the TV drama. Tang Tao's sharp facial features softened as he raised his lips. Don't be so happy so early. You'll have to endure your hardships later on. Do you think it's easy to become a teacher to me? I'm not a tolerant person, on the contrary, I'll be very strict with you. He Shiwen. Just send your horse over. Tang Tao accepted this disciple like this, and from then on, Tang Tao became He Shiwen's master, becoming a teacher for a day and a father for life. He Shiwen will respect him, show filial piety to him, and give him many rare treasures. Tang Tao. Come on, teach you how to draw a talisman. Okay, I can't wait anymore, He Shiwen said with a thud her eyes are filled with a thirst for knowledge. Tang Tao drew a beautiful pattern on paper with flowing clouds and water. He Shiwen has a brain that he has learned, but he hasn't learned his hands yet. She drew one after another, just like a ghost talisman, it was messy and ugly, ultimately due to her lack of skills. Oh, why is it so difficult to draw? He Shiwen lowered his head and lost his previous enthusiasm. Tang Tao drew another painting of flowing clouds and water beside her, and provocatively said to her, Is it difficult? No, it's not difficult at all. He Shiwen looked at him with a resentful gaze and said, Just show off. Next, she buried her head and worked hard, forgetting to eat and sleep, and finally came up with a realistic picture. I succeeded, the heavens do not disappoint those who have a heart, I have finally succeeded. He Shiwen held her talisman and ran throughout the room. Tang Tao looked at her indulgently, silently giving her a thumbs up. Master, how's it going? Can a child be taught? A child can be taught. He Shiwen received recognition from his master and was very happy, dancing with excitement. I succeeded. Cheerleading. Tang Tao's body began to appear transparent. Why are you transparent again? You're not transparent glass, why did you become transparent so quickly? He Shiwen was surprised. She hasn't gossiped with the master yet, so the master is going offline. Xiaowen, master, that's all for today. Tang Tao smiled and said. He Shiwen tugged at his sleeve and said, is there any way to keep you from disappearing? Tang Tao often disappears, and He Shiwen doesn't like it very much. She wants to stay with her master for a while and learn more. There is a way. What method? He Shiwen urged. 
The solution is. Tang Tao's voice gradually faded and dissipated in the air. Hey, make it clear. He Shiwen clenched her fists tightly, and she hated talking halfway. She felt uncomfortable inside, as if millions of ants were gnawing at her heart, itching to know the truth. Chapter 9 This home will probably scatter without me. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. In the living room, there is a sound of someone flipping through boxes and cabinets. He Shiwen is vigilant. There won't be any thieves, will there what about my burly brother? He's in great need at this time how can I cope with such a situation as a weak woman with no strength to bind a chicken he Shiwen was afraid, and her fear became even more real in the silence of the night, as if countless eyes were watching her in the darkness. He Shiwen quietly passed by and gave you a kick. Oh my, my old waist. As soon as he Shiwen turned on the light, he saw that it was his own big brother. What is this silly brother doing here without sleeping at night, startled me, I thought there was a thief at home. What are you looking for here? Is there a treasure as soon as he Shiwen thought of the possibility of a treasure, her eyes lit up and she leaned over to look. He Yang dug out a box from a pile of messy things. The workmanship of the box was more exquisite, made of rare agarwood, emitting a faint fragrance. The golden patterns on it became more luxurious. Look, this box is even better than your previous one. He Yang presented the box to her like a treasure. He Shiwen took the box and touched it with his hand, which had a unique texture and a fragrance. What's the origin of this box? He Shiwen asked. He Yang said, this box was crafted by a craftsman left over from the Qing dynasty. It has a history of over 100 years and the gemstones decorated on it are also unique. Dad used to auction it back at an auction site. He Shiwen took the box with surprise and said, Great, we just need a treasure like this. With this box, Tang Tao can absorb the spiritual energy of the treasure and transform it into his own things, so that he can maintain it for a longer time next time. Thank you, brother. He Shiwen walked away and returned, Brother, please be careful lately, especially keep your distance from the Scar Man. I have some talismans here, you can bring them to treat you well. Scared man. He Yang was puzzled, I only know one with a scar on his face, but he is my best brother and he won't harm me. He Yang is a soldier, and Scar Man is also a soldier. The two of them have gone through many difficulties together, and he never believed that his brothers would betray him. But people's hearts are separated by their bellies, and no one knows when their brothers who have gone through life and death will change their hearts. My foolish brother, knowing people knows face but not heart. The more familiar people are, the more they often know where your weaknesses lie. Once they try to frame you, you have no defense it is difficult to guard against thieves at night he Yang took the talisman and carefully put it away. Some things are better believed to have them than to have them. Sister, I'm going back to the team tomorrow. Take care of yourself and remember to think of me. He Yang is becoming more and more fond of his younger sister. She is cute and interesting, and most importantly, only he can hear her voice, which makes him particularly proud. Be careful yourself, you can tell me if you have anything to do. No, he doesn't need to tell me anything. The talisman I gave him can help me know his situation. My brother, you can go with peace of mind He Yang. How can this be said like parting ways in life and death? He Yang left home. Before, He Shiwen could chat with his brother or learn something interesting from Tang Tao. Now that neither of them is around, she is really bored. She feels like time has come to a standstill, and every second has become incredibly long. Baby, what are you doing? Tian Ruina has regained her health, her complexion is rosy, and she is no longer the same medicine jar. Beautiful mother has fully recovered, it's really good. I don't know what my dad looks like by the way, why didn't you see my dad Tian Ruina said, your father is already on his way back. He just returned from a business trip, and you will be able to see him soon. Hi everyone, I'm back. Speak of Chow Chow and he will arrive. He is a middle-aged man with a burly figure, 
a fashionable and handsome hairstyle, and a pair of big eyes that sparkle with light. Is this my dad, handsome is handsome, but in the end, he died in a car accident and couldn't even find his limbs. He you fun. Who is talking? What does it mean? Was there a car accident? He Yufan observed his wife and found that Tian Ruina was completely focused on watching TV, and there was nothing unusual. It seemed that she couldn't hear her. He fixed his gaze on He Shiwen, was it his daughter speaking? Dad, you're back, hard work. He Shiwen warmly welcomed his father's return. He Yufan. It's really the voice she makes, so magical. He Yufan was pleasantly surprised to hear He Shiwen's voice, and only he could hear it. It seemed that his daughter had a close relationship with him. Why does he keep looking at me, this dad is also too stingy, he doesn't even have a gift for meeting, he's sad. He Yufan took out a pink and tender strawberry bear from his briefcase and held it in his right hand, teasing her like a child. Look, strawberry bear, do you like it? It's still pink. You girls all like pink, he said, thank you, dad. I'm so poor. If only I had one million I have even experienced the world of wealthy people, and I don't know what it feels like to be so poor that only money is left I want to travel around the world he Yufan didn't expect that his daughter needed money the most now, but it was easy to handle as he had plenty of money. The bank card has received one million yuan. He Shiwen reported on his phone. He Shiwen. My wish has come true what was unimaginable before has now been easily achieved I really want to become a horse, screaming and running through this room he Yufan smiled kindly, his daughter is really so interesting. This father went out to play with his younger brother when he was a child and lost him. After going through countless hardships, he finally found him, but my younger brother has been resentful towards him and believes that his brother caused his tragedy, so he waits for an opportunity to seek revenge. In a few days, my younger brother will cause a car accident, and my poor father will die on the spot he's so pitiful, I want to be filial to him he Yufan. There is nothing absolute, there is still a way to ensure one's life, as long as he Yufan. Just what? Come on, I'm so anxious. Dad, I'll go upstairs first. There's something I need to deal with. He Shiwen resigns. He Yufan scratched his ears and cheeks, feeling extremely anxious. I am the anxious king. He Shiwen is two years old, and everyone in this family is facing a lot of misfortune. His mother has been changing her fate and has been weak and sickly. She is now recovering, but her big brother is about to have an accident, and her newly met father is also in danger. I estimate this home will be scattered without me. Chapter 10 Brother's Tragedy. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Sister, help me quickly. He Yang called. He Shiwen pinched his fingers and calculated, it's not good. Brother's calamity is coming, just today, just now. Stay calm, don't panic, come right away. He Shiwen hung up the phone and urgently summoned Tang Tao. Master, master, come out quickly. Jiang Hu is in urgent need. Without you, we can't do it. He Shiwen urgently summoned the master. What's going on? So anxious. Tang Tao lazily appeared. I don't have time to say, I'll use teleportation symbols to teleport us both over first. The situation is urgent, and through the spell she gave her brother before, He Shiwen can see that her brother's current situation is very bad. Shu. A flash delivery, He Shiwen and Tang Tao appeared at the place where He Yang was located. He Yang is arresting a drug dealer and is about to end his hideout. However, his best brother, Scar Man, has already defected and joined forces with the drug dealer to sell He Yang. Scar Man cut off He Yang's connection with the police from the drug dealer, and now He Yang is alone in penetrating someone else's territory, in a state of isolation and helplessness. Tang Tao elegantly tidied up the grass on his body, his clothes were spotless and spotless. Sister, you've finally arrived. I've been waiting for you so hard. You're right, Scar Man is really a traitor. 
he betrayed me and also betrayed the organization. He Yang felt heartbroken. Now you believe it, everything I say is true, every word is true, he Shiwen said. He Yang said, letter. Letter. You are my dearest sister, of course I believe you. Look at the talismans you gave me, I carry them with me. He Yang took out the talisman from his own arms. He Shiwen was grateful that he had brought the talisman he had given, otherwise she would not have been able to quickly determine his location or arrive so quickly. Master, quickly use the Thousand Mile Transmission spell to explain my brother's current situation to the main army and ask them to provide support as soon as possible. He Shiwen has just started learning how to draw talismans, and can only draw some simple ones, such as those that transmit sounds from thousands of miles. She is still inexperienced in Taoism and cannot draw them. At this point, only Tang Tao can appear. Tang Tao took out a talisman from his arms that transmitted sounds for thousands of miles, muttered some spells in his mouth, and then threw the talisman into the air. The talisman formed an airflow in the air and disappeared into the air. Okay. Tang Tao said. Okay, thank you very much, Master. He Shiwen thanked you. He Yan looked bewildered and said, Sister, what are you talking about? What stone axes are there here? He Yan couldn't see Tang Tao, nor could he hear their conversation, so he was very confused. Tang Tao ran to He Yang's side, touching his gun and his hair, mischievous and mischievous like a child. He Shiwen smiled, not expecting his master, who was already hundreds of years old, to have such a childlike time. It's nothing. I'm communicating with something you can't see. Ah. He Yang dropped his chin and immediately stood up from the ground. What? There's something invisible here. Let's run quickly. He Yang stood up and grabbed He Shiwen's hand, about to leave here quickly. He Shiwen said, Don't worry, your little life can be saved thanks to this invisible thing. He Shiwen looked at his master. He Yang. Ah. It's creepy. He Shiwen said, Invisible things are not necessarily scary, and visible things are not necessarily safe. He Yang seems to understand but not quite. Brother, I have already sent out your current situation, and soon a large army will support us and turn their drug trafficking dens into one pot. The most important thing for us now is not to be discovered by them. Aha. Uh -huh. He Yang and He Shiwen began to disguise themselves, wearing tree leaves and simulating the mimicry of animals in nature to avoid natural enemies. They were tightly wrapped all over, lying motionless on the ground, like real grass. Tang Tao doesn't need to disguise himself, he is wandering around freely. The people inside are listening, you are already surrounded. Quickly lay down your weapons and surrender, striving for leniency. The police received the message and quickly arrived at the scene, broadcasting the message through loudspeakers. Sai, sister, the army has come to find us. We are in need of help. He Yang became excited, his eyes moist. The sense of security provided by the state cannot be replaced by anything else. Brother, you're safe now. He Shiwen breathed a sigh of relief, and he managed to dodge the disaster. The police quickly finished dealing with the drug dealers here, their hands cut back, and they were tied up and escorted to the police car. He Yang looked at his good brother, Scar Man, who passed by in front of him, and his eyes flashed with complex emotions. He said a few times to the police officer who was escorting the Scar Man, that the two of them had been alone for a short period of time. Scar, why did you do this? He Yang was heartbroken as his former good brother now stood on the opposite side. Scar's eyes looked into the distance with complex emotions. He had always pursued being an honest soldier, but one day he also embarked on this path of no return. You don't understand. This matter is far from as simple as you imagine, sighed the Scar man. If there's anything we can discuss and solve together, it's not right for you to take all the blame on yourself. He Yang was not sure what had happened to his good brother, which led to a revolutionary change in him. Scar took a deep breath and spoke leisurely, 
This drug dealer leader is my biological younger brother. I've been looking for him for so many years and finally found him, but he's already on a path of no return. If I don't stand on his side, he has no hope of surviving. He young did not expect that the development of the matter had exceeded his expectations. Scar Man and the drug dealer leader are biological brothers. The reason why Scar Man defected is because he hopes that after this success, his younger brother can completely quit this thing, wash his hands, and he can also live with his younger brother. In the end, I'm sorry for you, my good brother, and for the country's cultivation of me. The Scar Man shed tears of regret. He young felt very regretful, as fate played tricks on him. His brothers also had a momentary fever and embarked on a path of no return. Good brother, I have put you in a dangerous situation. I apologize to you, and in the next life, I will repay you well. Scar Man finished speaking and walked with the police without looking back. He young looked at the scarred man's distant figure, and a tear as big as a bean ran across the corner of his eye. The memories of the past surged into my heart. If I could detect something wrong with the scar in time, perhaps there would be a chance to pull it back. He young regretted not paying too much attention to his good brother, which led him to embark on this path of no return. Brother, don't be sad. Everyone has their own destiny, He Shiwan patted his brother's back and comforted him. He young wiped away his tears and forced out a smile, Sister, it's okay, I'm okay. Tang Tao was also moved by this scene.